So, I'm here at the Santa Fe Opera House to sing a song. That way I can say I have sung at the famous Santa Fe Opera. Of course, I'll be singing in the parking lot, but it still counts, surely. I'm about uh, 40 minutes away from the party that I'm going to. So I'm going to change my clothes here into something a little bit nicer than what I'm wearing. I'm off to sing another ditty and then put in some uh, nice cleaner threads. And then, the party. Hello. The year's monsoons have started. Well, just barely started. Got some rain going off into the distance. At the moment, the dark thunderclouds aren't dropping water very much anywhere in northern New Mexico. Gotta wait until next month for that. Which means I won't have any trouble getting back into the canyon tonight after the dreaded party. Also means the day has cooled off pretty damn impressively. I'm actually in a dress shirt with long sleeves and a bolo tie and nice hat on. So I got to the Douglas Preston book signing party about uh, 5 o'clock, I guess. About 30 minutes late because I got lost. Didn't have a compass, I guess. I probably could have used an Indian guide. Uh, Mr. Preston talked about the spawning of his latest book, The Monster of Florence, and how he got involved with writing that and how he got arrested for being an accomplice to serial murder. Frankly, he doesn't look guilty to me, but you never know. It's the ones that don't look guilty who are the fiendish ones, except O.J. Simpson. Anyhow, I am going to read the book and I will make a video book review after I've read the book. The party was well attended. There's quite a few people and many books were sold and signed. I also brought Cities of Gold, which Mr. Preston also signed for me. Very kind of him. It is now dinner time. Cheese enchiladas, frijoles, Spanish rice, guacamole, corn chips, iced tea. I am in downtown Santa Fe, New Mexico. I can feel my brain cells dying by the thousands. I can feel it, Dave. I can feel it. I'm here for dinner. If I could just find a place that has cheese enchiladas, frijoles, Spanish rice, corn chips, guacamole, and iced tea. Surely someplace in Santa Fe, if my brain doesn't rot before dinner, I shall find it. I am waiting for dinner here in town. See if I can read a couple pages, hopefully. Dinner will arrive soon. You can probably guess what I've asked for. Just what the doctor ordered. I have had my dinner on a desert file scale from zero to a thousand. It rates about 88, which is close to, but not quite, bad enough to not bother eating it. As I was waiting for my change, the bartender, who is gay, bounced over and asked me, Do we need change? And I said, We? I don't know about we, but I would like some change. So he took my $20 bill and he bounced back over to the bar and he changed it. And he bounced back again and said, Here we go! And I said, Well, thank you. Sunset. 
So, the Preston book signing party was a huge success, but the dinner I had at a restaurant afterwards was horrible. Pretty darn bad. The waiter, of course, put the fay in Santa Fe, but it was the food that was ugh, beyond, beyond description, I guess. Of course, I ate it anyways, and I can still feel it. It feels like I ate an anvil. At the party, I met uh, Mr. Preston's traveling companion, mentioned in Cities of Gold. Traveling companion named Walter Nelson. They traveled almost a thousand miles through the American Southwest on horseback, not only through the Badlands of Arizona, but also through the edge of the Canyonlands and up to the Mogollon Rim area. Any human being who can do that on horseback and survive is goddamn manly. That's far manlier than I could possibly ever hope to be. Pretty damn impressive uh, feat, I think. Anyhow, after I read Monster of Florence, I will probably make a video uh, book review. Then again, who the fuck am I to say if a, a book is good or bad or not?